China's war on terror. Over 30 Muslim scholars from 14 Muslim countries are currently visiting occupied East Turkestan at China's behest. They have praised China's counter-terrorism and extremism policies against Uyghurs. They toured the anti-terror exhibition in Urumqi set up by the Chinese authorities, justifying the detention of Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. Let's remind everyone what China is doing to our Uyghur brothers and sisters. Uyghurs are forced to attend Chinese flag-raising ceremonies and pledge their allegiance to the Chinese Communist Party. Uyghur Muslim women are forced to marry Chinese Han non-Muslim men. Uyghur Muslim women were forced to do catwalks in fashion shows to eradicate the Islamic concept of hijab. Uyghur women are forced to undergo birth control to curb Muslim population. They are forcibly sterilized in detention camps with IUDs, injections and pills against their will. Uyghur Muslim women are forced to sleep with Chinese Han men officials in their homes while their husbands are detained in concentration camps. Over 500,000 Uyghur children are forced to attend boarding schools and camps where they are being raised up as non-Muslims and to become loyal subjects. They are wiping out the identity, religion and culture of Uyghurs. These scholars have sold their souls for Chinese Yuan. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Verily, rulers will come after me, and whoever enters their abode, affirms their lies, and supports their oppression. They are not part of me, and I am not part of them. They will have no presence at the fountain. Whoever does not enter their abode, does not support their oppression, and does not affirm their lies, he is part of me, and I am part of him. He will be present at the fountain. Sunan at Tirmidhi 2190